Hello. Hope you are doing well. We are going to review this book Algorithms for the People Democracy in the Age of AI by Josh Simons. The book's idea is that the artificial intelligence revolution, through the use of machine learning, is primarily a political phenomenon, and its positive or negative consequences will depend on how society chooses to control and oversee its implementation. As we can see that the case study shown in this book the Allegheny County Department of Human Services DHS, has implemented the Allegheny Family Screening Tool UFST, to improve the decision-making process for child welfare call screening. The main objective behind this tool's utilization is to prioritize and enhance child safety. The UFST is a tool that employs predictive risk modeling to rapidly examine vast amounts of data from various sources related to each person involved in a child maltreatment case. In 2014, with backing from the Richard King Mellon Foundation, DHS Department of Human Services initiated a rigorous and competitive request for proposals process to seek proposals aimed at investigating the ways to enhance decision-making by employing predictive risk modeling using the available data. The DHS and the Auckland University of Technology team investigated multiple ways to apply predictive analytics. Eventually, they prioritized child welfare as their primary focus and worked on creating a tool to aid in making better decisions when dealing with allegations of maltreatment. DHS has developed a tool to assess homelessness in Allegheny County, aiding in prioritizing bed allocation within temporary housing. In this significant book, Simons offers one of the finest explanations of how progress in artificial intelligence poses challenges to democracy and suggests effective measures that societies can take to address these concerns, as Simons shows, in the right hands. It can be a powerful tool for governments to allocate resources and corporations to reach consumers. Technocracy, but the technology can also reduce the roles of human judgment, empathy and creativity. But even the most elaborate systems of machine learning do not eliminate the space for human judgment and moral choice, after all. People make decisions about the design of the models and the criteria for selecting data and patterns. Machine learning is a profound yet straightforward concept, a set of techniques and approaches to uncover patterns in data for making predictions. As Simons illustrates, companies courts, and welfare agencies can utilize machine learning in manners that inadvertently perpetuate societal inequality. In his narrative on governing technologies, the author delves into the crucial aspect of placing democracy at the core of a governance. He contends that the act of prediction itself holds political significance. By emphasizing the importance of democratic principles in regulating artificial intelligence, he addresses the challenges and implications of these technologies in our society. The author's exploration highlights the need for responsible decision-making and collective involvement to ensure the ethical and equitable use of in shaping our future. Looking at predictive technologies from a political theory perspective offers fresh insights into how democracies should handle political decisions that occur beyond the realm of traditional representative politics. It prompts a re-evaluation of governance approaches, considering the influence of these technologies on society and the need for democratic oversight to navigate their impact effectively. This approach underscores the importance of integrating democratic principles and mechanisms to steer the use of predictive technologies responsibly and justly. Safeguarding Democratic Values in an Evolving Technological Landscape Simons emphasizes the link between regulating technology and advancing democratic reform, advocating for a deeper exploration beyond traditional ethics. He contends that we should grapple with profound moral and political inquiries concerning technology governance to promote the flourishing of democracy. By delving into these fundamental questions, we can create a framework that ensures technology's responsible implementation aligns with democratic values. Fostering a Harmonious Relationship Between Technology and Society As author explained, the feelings of frustration, confusion, and disempowerment often stem from three significant gaps. Firstly, there's an experience gap between those who create predictive tools and those who utilize them for decision-making. 
Computer scientists lack insight into the realities of social workers, police officers, judges, and others who rely on these tools for critical choices. Second, there's an accountability gap between decision makers and tool designers, leaving those responsible unable or unwilling to justify their design decisions to the people whose lives are affected. Finally, a language gap hinders effective communication between decision makers and computer scientists, making it challenging to discuss choices that impact values and interests clearly. This trio of gaps compounds the challenges associated with technology governance and decision making. The Allegheny Family Screening Tool, UFST, is used as a basis to delve into the essence and significance of machine learning. I begin by investigating the appeal of machine learning's two main promises, fairness and efficiency, which drive institutions to adopt predictive decision making. Next, I explore the intricacies of machine learning and the crucial choices involved in designing and applying its models. A key argument is that machine learning is inherently political and cannot be reduced or separated from its political implications. It operates within institutions, exerting power in ways that favor certain interests and values over others. Data mining and machine learning precisely capture and reflect various dimensions of inequality. Understanding this political nature of machine learning lays the groundwork for the chapters of the book. As O'Neill argues, big data processes codify the past, they do not invent the future. Doing that requires moral imagination, and that's something only humans can provide. We have to explicitly embed better values into our algorithms, creating big data models that follow our ethical lead. The actions of machine learning models are influenced by historical data. Similarly, the concepts and regulations that democracies employ to govern machine learning are shaped by historical factors. As a result, machine learning necessitates careful consideration of how we want to utilize past data to make decisions that will impact the future. Decisions about the application of machine learning should take into account the historical context and its implications on shaping our future.